hey guys welcome back to my channel i am yemi and i do diy videos today i'll be showing you my recipe for this yam and pepper sauce i have four tomatoes here three scotch bonnets one bell pepper and half i think half a bulb of, a bulb of onion i'm going to cut all this up and put them in the blender i like to cut them just because well it kind of makes blending easier so in blending i'm going to pour in my tomatoes first along with the onions and then put the peppers on top that way it gets to blend faster with little water so you can add other things into your blender some people add their spices in the blender but i don't always do that so i'm just going to pour this in the pot and put it on the gas stove heater whatever that is i'm going to put it on and then turn it on to like medium heat and let the water dry out when i blended i didn't blend with too much water it was really little water and because the tomatoes were below we really didn't have as much water inside so now i'm going to let out allow that dry out and then slice my yam while that's it so this yam is thin and kind of long so it's not going to like cut the way i wanted to that's why i'm cutting it in like different sizes so I can get that uh, cuboid shape that I can fry with. Now this is dried out after about 10-15 minutes. I'm adding my cube, basically any seasoning that you want to use. So I'm adding cube, curry powder and some salt. I think that's all I use for this particular recipe. You can use other things, you can add thyme and all those other things but I was not interested in doing that. And yes, I'm still going to add some oil. The oil will be added like right after this. I don't want to have like too much oil inside, even though I still ended up having some oil <laughs> more than I needed. But yeah, I was using the spoon to like measure it so that I could just check to see if it's enough or something. But I still added a little more, if I'll be honest. So the oil kind of starts to show when it starts boiling up but it will not be too much i promise yeah this is what it looks like it's not too bad is it so that's pretty much it with my pepper sauce i'm going to fry this for like maybe five ten more minutes thereabout so it dries up dries out properly and it will be well fried now that, that is done i'm going to heat up my oil in frying pan my tiny frying pan and fry my little cuboids That's pretty much it for this recipe to be honest. Like fry your yam. I already definitely washed my yam after cutting and I added some salt to it as well. So if you like to have salt, do remember to add salt. I usually don't add too much because I don't really like salt like that. Except it's inside soup. <laughs> but anyways, add as much as you think would be okay for you. Just sprinkle before you throw it in the oil so that it doesn't taste saltless. So I fry on for about two minutes on each side so that it will be well cooked inside. And now that that's done frying, I'm just going to serve my queen. Yes, my queen is myself. Okay, the person that actually ate this food is my friend, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm just serving it into this uh, rinking, rinking, and adding my yam slices on the side so some people could add like fish or mainly fish to like the pepper sauce but I did not feel like having anything inside I just wanted yam and sauce that was all I wanted something straightforward when I started this recipe I actually wanted yam with um, you know yam does like yamarita kind of style fried with like flour and all that but that seemed like a lot of work for me so i was not in the mood to handle flour especially with my nails so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching today i hope to see you in my next video hopefully the next video will be clothed <laughs> see you guys next time bye